Hey there guys, I'm Michelle here and I'm bringing you a new create tutorial today. Well, not much of a create tutorial, it's going to be one of those uh, logic help ones, just to give, give you a little uh, idea of what's going on. Um, a lot of people have been asking me the way I do my tutorials. I don't really explain, especially the, on the newest ones, but this the, the reason for that is, is because I've gone over the basics on plenty of videos and what I shall do now is do the basics on these videos right here right now. Anyway, let's get on with it. So today I'm going to be showing you the and gate. So to start off, I've already got some things here. Um, those things include two buttons and a, just a normal light with the fog turned down and a microchip. And these are just floating bits of material. So I can place things where they should be. Now, let's just show you what the and gate does. So the and gate basically takes in when both, or well, how many have, so all the signals, all the inputs have to be active for the output to be active. If one's active and one's not, so say we've got two, the top, say the top one's got a connection that's on, and the bottom one's got a connection off, it's not going to work. Both of them have to be on, I can't put it any clearer than that. So I will show a demonstration, so there's one button here, and another button here. And the output output goes into the light, so we can see it as it happens. So I'll bring this down so you can see. And basically, I'll press one button, and as you can see, one of the inputs is lit up, but it's not activated. Let's press the other one. It does the same. Both have to be active. So what I have to do, because I don't have a sad friend, sad face, I shall bring in a block just to land on the other one, and both are on. So if I was to jump off do that. So hopefully this helps you and you get a better idea of how the AND gate now works. Um, I'm the Mr. Rowan and thank you for watching this tutorial. Peace. 